Hey, sucker. Hey, chat. Oh god, I've got to open Steam. That's right. Eh. Three. There we go. Ah, thank you, Lucid. Thank you for subbing for three months. Thank you so much. It's very sweet of you. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Hello, Nikki. Let's see, where were we? Um, here, I guess. You good? Yeah, I'm doing pretty well too. Just finished dinner. Had pasta and chicken. Hmm. Hey, Sakura. Mason's here when we head back upstairs. She raises an eyebrow at us and turns back to her prep work. Oh, hey. Hope we didn't startle you. Uh, none of my business. I can help with some of that, <laughs> if you like. Avery's just gonna go take a, a little cat nap before work. It's a long story. Not my business, like I said. But chop some lettuce for me, I guess. Sure, you got it. Be down in a sec. Come on, Avery. Feel bad missing the last livestream? It's okay, Nikki. College is tiring? Yeah. I feel so weird every time I come up here. Like I'm in some museum or furniture store or something. Like Graves is gonna pop out from a corner at any minute. Uh, he keeps some spare pillows and blankets around here somewhere? Oh, here we go. He hands me a couple of overstuffed pillows and a nice knit blanket. I feel my whole body enter a shutdown mode at the thought of sleeping on them. Daddy Graves. <laughs> yeah. You can rest as long as you want, okay? Just come down whenever you're ready. I flop down on the couch and boy does it feel amazing. Okay. But what about you? Oh, don't worry about me. I don't mind the occasional all-nighter. I promise to go help Mason, and I have a couple of other things to take care of. But maybe I'll swap places with you later. Or we could... We, we could sleep together? <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's amazing how quickly sleep catches up with you. I feel like I just got hit by the tired train. Or something like that. I don't know. I'm sleepy. AF. Oh. Okay. Uh, z -z 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 -z. Take care, okay? Sleep well. He leans forward to press a kiss to my forehead, then is out the door in a few long strides. It's not that bad in here. You can't really hear the noises from the cafe below. Only the soft hum of a fan somewhere in the distance. I think it's quieter than my place, since it's not on the street. It smells nice, too. 
Or, at least it doesn't smell like old pizza. I see why Landry takes naps here. It's really nice. Sleepy Avery. Huh? My eyes creak open after about two minutes. I hear something. Is Landry back already? Sprig, my name is Jenna and I love you. Thank you, Jenna. Welcome to the stream. No. It's Reese. How do you manage to get up here and start reading a book without me noticing? Can he teleport now? And who hangs out in a place where someone's trying to sleep anyway? Uh, when do you get here? Uh, like half an hour ago? Don't mind me, of course. Though, if you sleep through your shift, you'll have some things to answer for. Why are you even up here? Are you, like, watching me sleep or something? Oh my god, no. I'm not working today, so I'm trying to catch up on some reading. If anything, you're encroaching on my space. Huh. I'll keep that in mind for next time. What time is it anyway? Uh, it's 10 a.m. <laughs> but never mind that. What's all this about Landry keeping you up all night? Wow. Probably don't say it like that because that's super misleading. I'm just repeating what he told me. Said he got you all worried about something. And you weren't feeling well. I get it. He's real bad about wording things to sound all doom and gloom sometimes. I can't imagine putting up with a, that from a person I liked. Well, I guess, I guess I can, but... I feel my face warm up. The trail off at the end seems to keep going, like it's leading into embarrassing thoughts or something. I don't want to interrupt, so I won't make a big deal out of it this time. I might as well stop being flustered every time someone says something about it. News travels fast around here. I bet the entire cafe knows by now. Dang. Damn. 10am though. I really passed out for a bit there. How's everything going? How's Landry? He looks so beat this morning. Uh... Who knows? I haven't seen him since I got in. He went off somewhere to run some errands or something. Said he had something to take care of. Uh, oh, okay. Wait, errands? He's a cat, though. Uh, Landry knows what he's doing. So I don't need to babysit him, unlike you. Anyway, he looked determined about it. And who am I to get in his way? Something to take care of. That leaves a weird feeling in the pit of my stomach, especially after everything we talked about this morning. I've been watching Sprigg's videos while I finish my film. I'm an animator. School's starting up again this week. That's cool, Jenna. Have you been going, I don't know what you would call it, film school, animation school? Is this your second year, or have you been going there for a while, or, I don't know. I don't know much about it, to be honest. Come to think of it, he even said something like that before I went to sleep. Does he really mean to go out and do something? Animation school, second year, gotcha. I mean, I can't be sure, but I want to know for my own peace of mind that he isn't trying to settle things. Why'd he run off by himself? I thought we'd go talk to this kid together. Is he planning to start something ugly or something? What if that kid hurts him? Did he say where exactly he was going? Didn't ask. Yeah, I've definitely got to do something about this. I'm going to go see if I can find him. 
I'll try to be back before my shift, okay? You ain't making me feel too confident when you say you'll try to. I don't have time to bicker with this kid, so I just wrestle out of the blanket and gallop down the stairs and out the door. Where would I even find him? Where does a cat go to find the crappy witch kid that cursed him? I wish I would have asked him to be more specific about the bar and his story. You can check my trash tumbler if you get a chance. Sure. Let me open that up. Do you mind if I show it on stream, Jenna? Like, uh, could show your Sans animation. Oh, cool. Thank you. Eh. See? It's Sans from Undertale. She made him ride a bike. It's really good. Good job. Whew. You look so happy. Sans doing donuts. <laughs> nice. Let's see. Uh, that would be moe-bro-tumblr.com if any of you want to check it out. Oh, she already... Why am I saying... Yeah, she already put the link in chat. There you go. <laughs> but are they spider donuts? I wish I would have asked him to be more specific about the bar and his story. That'd be the best place to start. But what are the odds he'd find the same kid at the same place? I don't even know what this kid looks like. Where am I gonna go? Made of spiders for spiders. <laughs> Think, Gray. Think. Where would he go? Wait. He did say the bar was by his apartment, right? I just gotta figure out where that is first. Then, easy as pie. Hopefully. I stop for a second to remember which direction I've seen him go in to get home. I've never been to his apartment, but I think Hayes said they live near each other? This way, I think. I hope. I have no idea- bleh bleh bleh. I have no idea when he went out. He could be there already. Hell, he could be done and on his way back by now. Or, if it didn't go so well, he could be... Okay, I better not get ahead of myself. One step at a time. Figuring out... Bleh. Figuring out where I am is probably a good start. I thought I was heading in a direction that seemed approximately like where I think I've seen him go home, but I have no idea where I am now. This alley looks familiar, but... All alleys kind of do. A soda can rolls towards me, pushed by the wind. I wind back and kick it as hard as I can, as if that's going to help me. I got some good air on it, though. It launches on impact, sailing towards the end of the road. It clatters to the ground with a sloshy, clanking sound. <laughs> Spring's got some blizz in his mouth. <laughs> bleh, 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 Dracula. Yeah. I see a big furry brown cat jump and dash away, no doubt startled by the noise. Wait. Landry? Landry! I take off running. If I'm wrong, whatever, but I'm willing to take that chance right now. Landry, wait! Is that you? Come back. It's just me, Landry. To my relief, the cat slows, then stops. It turns its head, eyes blown out, staring at me. I think it is Landry. I run closer, and the maybe Landry cat makes a strange mumbling noise. As I get closer, I see he's got something long and thin in its mouth. He gingerly sets the thing on the ground, then looks up at me. Avery? What are you doing out here? 
Isn't your shift starting soon? I could ask you the same question. What are you running off doing? Reese said you had errands or something, but I thought... I got so worried, so I came out and... Mm. Welcome back, Sakura. Is that the bookmark decoder? What are you doing with that? Did you... Did you go to my house? Landry looks quiet, and his ears tip back. If that's not an admission of guilt, I don't know what is. Landry, oh my god, why? Um, I'm sorry. I, I just needed to borrow it, and I didn't think you'd mind. I should have asked, but it was spur of the moment, and... What are you going to do with a bookmark? They don't do much good outside of books, especially this one. Well, it's imbued with magic, and sometimes enchanted objects can be used as a divining rod for other magic, so I thought I'd try some dowsing and... Oh, that was in the book too. You read the book? When did you do that? And how the hell did he turn the pages? Just now. I headed out to search for something, but I kept hitting dead ends, so I figured, since it was kind of rude of me to tune you out last night anyway, I might as well go do some reading, right? Then an idea hit me. So I was gonna try this real quick, but I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'm just too tired. I'm glad you're okay, Sakura. What are you trying to douse, anyway? And what made you decide to try magic? Well, like I said, you need magic to find magic. Does that mean... What are you trying to find? I'm not following. Oh, well, it won't work anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh no, no no, we aren't doing this shit again. I throw my hands around Landry's middle and scoop him up to meet me eye to eye. Nope, nope, I thought we were done with this bullshit. You gotta tell me what's up and stop leaving me out. He mules a frustrated noise, not unlike the one Mochi makes when I pick him up. Oh, you're right, sorry. I thought... Well, we talked about finding that kid, right? I first went to the bar where I saw him, but no bar in the world is open before noon, so that didn't work. And besides, what would the odds be of finding him in the same place twice? So I can't find him by chance, I'd find him by enchantment. <gasps> you love his voice? Thank you, Nikki. I mean, I can't really argue that, but what the hell do you think you're going to do after that? Especially as a cat. You could get hurt. Oh, I hadn't really thought about it, I guess. Thank goodness you're here to put my head back on my shoulders. You're damn right. <laughs> you're damn right I am. Now give me that bookmark and tell me how to do this dowsing thing. What? What are you doing? I'm coming with you, of course. Let me do it. No, no. You don't have to come with. I don't want you doing everything for me. Just put me down and I'll go take care of it. I'm gonna shake you until the bricks in your head come loose. We're in this together and I'm here to help you. Now, I'll let you do the dowsing thing, but you have to let me take along. Tag along. I don't... I don't care about my shift or whatever. I'm not going anywhere until you get your stuff worked out. His ears flatten, and he looks down at the ground, looking both conflicted and defeated. Neither of us say anything for several moments. Thankfully, he sighs and looks back up. Good, my arms are getting tired. 
Okay. You win. Let's go together. I douse and you follow. But you're going to have to put me down first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I set him on the ground and he trots over to pick the bookmark up in his teeth. He looks up and holds it in front of himself. I love this game so much. Yeah, I love it too. <laughs> Nobody ever mentions, though, like their cats, and that means like cat buttholes. <laughs> What about their buttholes, Jenna? <laughs> Isn't it gross to carry stuff around in your mouth like that? Doesn't it taste gross? It occurs to me about a second later that he can't answer with it in his mouth. He makes a sound like a muffled, I don't know, and trots ahead. It means you've seen all your friends' buttholes. Yeah, I mean... Let's... let's buttholes among friends, right? Of course, I follow. And follow. And follow some more. Alley after alley, street after street. He saunters along and I shuffle behind. Once in a while his ears perk up and I see a brief glimmer on the bookmark. But before I can even say anything, it's already gone and he's back to walking. Sprig, that girl that looks like me, do you remember her? You mean Finley? With the phone? And the oh my glob. We've gone in circles a few times, and it's starting to get late. How long have we been doing this? I'm so hungry, and my feet are starting to hurt. I'm sure he's not enjoying this either. Yeah, her? What about her, Nikki? Landry, are you really sure we should keep doing this? We can try again tomorrow after work. Her as a cat equals naked? Yeah. I mean, all of them equal naked, technically. I think, yeah. Landry shakes his head and makes a little noise. I think he's starting to lose his patience, too. Boobs. <laughs> Yeah, so what? He sets the bookmark down and glances over his shoulder to me. I'm sure it wouldn't be any of their first time seeing boobs. I'm sure it's fine. Boobs and buttholes. Ah, Chad. You're so cute. I told you, it's okay. You can go back if you want, but I'm going to keep going. And I told you, I'm not going to stop until you do. Well. Tell you what, we could take a dinner break, then get back to it. Yeah, sounds good to me. Want to go back to the cafe? Sure, let me just grab the... Someone walks past us. I'm the first person we've seen in like an hour or two. Once they've passed, they seem to pick up their pace, head down all the while. They're wearing headphones, but the music they're listening to is loud enough to leak into the air around them. I look down to say something to Landry, but he's frozen. Our gazes fall to the bookmark. It's glimmering. Avery, do you see that? It's him! Holy shit! Now what? Uh, go get his attention. Oh, okay. Hey! I run after the kid and tap him on the shoulder. Tap, 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 tap. Hey, excuse me. Hey! Road, street... Okay. He rips the headphones off his head, and whirls around to stare me in the face. Um... Hmm. Let's see... Hmm... 
the hell the hell do you want you've been looking for you my friends need to talk to you I don't know any of your crappy friends leave me alone you do though it's important fuck off uh -huh. <laughs> nice, thank you. <laughs> He's a preteen, yeah. <laughs> He's the guy you cursed. And the kid lifts his head and looks me in the eye. He's about my height, even though he's a lot younger than me. I thought I smelled magic around here. Wanna start something? Cause I'm not afraid to fight. I'll curse you too. Look, I'm not here for a fight. I just want you and my friend to talk this out. Like I give a rat's ass. I've cursed so many people, I don't even know who they are. What a fuckhead. I can see why Landry lost his temper. Be right back, I'm gonna go eat some chicken. Enjoy. <laughs> Though from the look of it, it seems like he's losing his temper right now. It's hard to tell because his face doesn't show it, but his body's gone stock still. And then you are a menace. Huh? Who said that? Did, did you use your white ass magic to change your voice to threaten me? Hey, my magic isn't weak, and I like my voice the way it is. Down, oh no. Down here. Landry steps in front of me, right up to the kid, and sits down to look up at him with narrow eyes. What the hell? Who are you? Why are you a cat? Hmm. From the bar. I saw through your disguise and we got in a fight. I punched you in the face. And you ruined my life. Oh. Oh, you're that crappy adept. You caused me a lot of trouble that day, jackass. My voice is so cool. Breaks in the song. <laughs> Kick his ass, Landry. Yeah. What's the matter? You piss off another witch? You double curse now? Hell, I want to punch this kid too. It seems tempting to give him the business, but this is Landry's struggle, not mine. Give him the business. Landry is restraining his anger so hard, I'm worried he might pop a blood vessel. I'd hold his hand for support, but he doesn't really have any of those right now. Ain't got nothing else to say about it? Well then, bye, idiot. The bratty witch turns to leave, but Landry rushes between his legs and stands in front of him. <laughs> the shirt's driving you nuts. Street. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dumb. Do you know how much you've put me through? I could die. You tried to kill me. If I died, that blood would be on your hands. I had to get counter curse to keep myself safe, and that's why I look like this now. All because you were trying to sneak into a bar. So tell me, are you proud of yourself? This could get ugly if he keeps going like this. I hold up my hand to say something, to mediate, but the kid interrupts before I can. He just starts laughing. It's an ugly, loud laugh, and I get the impression he's half doing it for show. What an idiot! A frickin' moron! Baka! You think I was trying to kill you? Is your brain the size of a cat's too? What? what Dude, I put a frickin' heartburn hex on you. It was gonna wear off in like an hour. 
You seriously got some witch to counter curse you because of that? <laughs> what a dumbass. Maybe I should curse you again. For real this time. Or maybe I'll give you a head cold. Not like you could tell. I can't believe... Boom. Goes the dynamite. It's like a tire blowing out. Or an earthquake. The ground shakes. A shockwave hits the building beside us, and the windows shatter in succession. Like lines of dominoes. Glass explodes everywhere, and I duck to cover my head. When I look up, I see the kid, looking like the devil himself erupted from the ground, to come for him. When I turn my head, I see he's not wrong. You wanna play? Great. Let's do it. And the voice booming around us. It sounds... glowy. Like there's more to it than what I've come to know as Landry. Shit's happening, chap. Sammy headphones. He's crackling, like lightning. Coat like lightning coats his body. I've never seen anything like it before. Is this his magic? Maybe this time, you'll learn something when I'm done with you. Landry stomps his foot next to the kid. The asphalt beneath crouch crunches like he's stepped on ice in March. I can see the kid's crying. I feel bad for him. This is too much. I'm tr I try shouting to him. My voice fails. I I don't know what you want from me. What do you want? I want you to understand. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, hello. I want you to understand what it feels like to get terrorized by magic. Not a great feeling, is it? Stop it! Landry, stop! Before I realize what I'm doing, my legs are moving, pumping as fast as they can. Can, and I'm between them. I put my hands on Landry's chest to hold him back. My hands tingle when they touch him. I look into the cold fury burning in his eyes. He isn't looking at me, he's looking through me, at the kid. You're scaring me. Is this what you wanted? To terrorize some poor teen? Was that your plan? His eyes soften, but the glow remains. Energy crackles against my fingers. I hate how it feels. Just stop it and calm down. This isn't like you. You're not that kind of person. You're a good, kind person, Landry. Not a bully, so just stop it. Then who's gonna stop him? He's the one causing problems for everyone. And I have to stop it before he hurts someone else. No, you don't. It's not your responsibility. And even if it is, this isn't how you do it. I can give you his lunch money. <laughs> I curl my fingers into his shirt and step closer. My hair is starting to rise from the static. I can feel it all over my body. He tenses beneath my hands, but I feel some of that awful energy begin to dissipate. Please, just calm down, okay? He's just a kid. Breathe. <sighs> Snog him out of his rage. <laughs> might work, might not. He takes a deep, shaky breath, and I feel the crackling vanish. Tell him his wife who sucks. I don't think that'll help the situation. I hear sniffles and choke sobs behind me, but one step at a time. Avery, I'm sorry. I'm not the one who needs an apology. I push away, then walk over to the kid and offer him my hand. But Landry stops me 
by putting his hand on my shoulder. He leans down and pulls the kid up instead. Look, this isn't how I wanted this to go at all. I came here to apologize for punching you, not to do more of it. Am I supposed to give a- Aw, oh, come on. After all that, you're still doubling down? G give us something to work with here. Look, kid... Kaz. I mean, Kaz. My name is Kaz. At least call me that. Kaz. Sorry. We spent all day looking for you. He studied magic for this. At least hear us out. He didn't need to study, but okay. Whatever. Kaz, I'm really sorry. I feel like from what I've seen, you probably are having a tough enough time of it without some weird adults coming in and messing up your shit. I bet his name is actually Reginald or something. <laughs> Reginald Road Street. But, with all the sneaking into places where you shouldn't be, and using magic like that, it feels like you're in a bad spot. Am I wrong? That's none of your bim damn bibble business. Mm, that's fair, but I think I know how you feel. I'm not gonna push it because I already made enough of a mess. But if you want to come get a free lunch and talk it out, meet me at the cafe where I work. Don't hold your breath. It's called a cat's paw. It's a cat cafe. Why cats? Dogs are way better. I... Well, I kind of agree. Please don't tell anyone at work, Avery. <laughs> well, whatever. I don't really give a shit. Maybe I'll come wreck the place. I sort of feel like you won't. You'll see, won't you? You loser. And with that, Kaz bursts into a run and disappears around the corner. Kaz sounds more like Scumlord. Is that a character from something? Or are you just calling him a Scumlord? As soon as Kaz is out of sight, Landry heaves a big sigh and slumps over against my shoulder. He's heavy. I don't certainly want but I certainly don't want him sitting down on broken glass, so I just wrap my arms around his waist. Oh, I screwed that up so bad. So, so bad. I'm gonna have to pay that store to replace their windows. Now this kid's probably more messed up, and now you're mad and Landry, I'm not mad, and none of that stuff is stuff that can't be fixed. It's not the end of the world, okay? Just calling him by his true name, Baby Scumlord, got it. People mess up. People get angry. If anything, it was probably worse because you bottled it up for so long. Yeah, it definitely was. You did the best you could once you got your stuff back together. You just have to pick up the pieces of whatever broke and move on. Yeah. Maybe he'll come by the cafe. Maybe we can have a real talk. I... Um, I hope he doesn't stop by while Reese is working. That's a clash that would leave nothing but a smoking crater. God, you're right. Well, I guess we'll have to make sure to deal with it if that happens. <laughs> he laughs nervously for a second, and then pulls me closer. I can feel his heartbeat against my ear. Avery. I can't thank you enough. If you hadn't been here... 
Don't worry about it, okay? It's over. How can I ever repay you for everything you've done for me? Well, I can think of one way. Oh? I try to ignore the glass crunching under my feet as I get up on my tiptoes to kiss him. Loading. I'm walking on the sun. While the stars on my shoulders, with the stars on my shoulders, and the wind in my hair. Or some other complicated metaphor. Or some other complicated metaphor. I don't know. I've been so happy lately. It's great. I mean, work is still work and mochi is still mochi. But I got a real cute crush I can spend my time with. I'm starting to get to the bottom of this magical cur curse thing. What happened? Um, it's just... This game loads different sections into, like, your computer's memory. So, this is just a different section that's loaded up. Um, right now we're in... I guess you could call it the, um last third of the game. This is when the uh, big villain shows up. A Yandere explosion. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty accurate. I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick, and then we'll keep going. Hold on.
Hello cuties, did you miss me? Final Fantasy, absolute fave. Oh, that's very sweet, Nikki. Oh, you're all really cute. Thank you. Oh my god, Sprig Mode took my noise virginity. Let's see. Even though the curse has been broken, Landry and I spend most of our time at the cafe. I mean, I had a feeling he'd be spending all his free time at work anyway. He seems like that type. He says it's to earn extra to pay for the windows he blew out on that store. I have offered to help, but he keeps turning me down. Is it you blow up my notifications when you had a long conversation with George on your YouTube comments a few months ago? Yeah, you did. Don't worry about it, though. It's fine. I can, uh... It gives me the option to, like, turn off notifications for specific comment threads and stuff, and it wasn't really bothering me, and so I didn't even have to use it. I don't, um, I don't have it set up to give me, like, phone notifications or anything. Hey, Bryn. Welcome to the stream. It's okay, Nikki. I think he's doing the work as some kind of penance. You two still talk? That's cool. I'm glad. We don't spend all our time here, of course. Turns out he's got a very nice apartment. Oh, shit. I guess Graves is good for something, because it's in great shape. He must have been diligent about keeping it up. I'm glad my curse never developed. I wouldn't want him going through my stuff. We haven't seen Graves around the past couple of days either way, so I guess it doesn't matter. He's not going to show up while we're cuddling and watching TV or something, right? Mew. Who knows? You... Oh, you know who I have seen? Kaz. He thinks he's sneaky, but yesterday I caught him peeking around the alley at the cafe. So it's not daddy graves, it's French made graves. That can work too. I'm sure he'll come in sooner or later. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Right now, I'm more concerned with w whether or not Landry is ever gonna finish this ramp thingy. It's late, and I want dinner. Landry! He doesn't answer. He's in the zone. Landry! Landry! I chant his name like I'm egging him on in a dare. He finally looks up. Hmm? Something wrong? <laughs> you had your evaluation at work, and it went well? Good job, Bryn. Was it really tough? I think I remember you mentioning you had to fill out a bunch of stuff for an evaluation. Like, almost a month ago. I'm hungry. Let's get dinner. Oh, I'm gonna have a late night here, I think. I, I might eat something from the kitchen and get back to work. You can stay if you want, but... Nope. No thanks. 
I gotta go check on Mochi anyway. I'll come over after I'm done, okay? If you don't mind, of course. Of course I don't mind. I better get going before Mochi finds his way here instead. <laughs> Alright. I give him a quick kiss, then gather my stuff and head out. It's way later than when I usually leave. Usually the sun sets still peeking through the city skyline. But tonight, the moon's already high. Back home, the crickets would be chirping full force right now. It gets super noisy this time of year. I ship. Car noises echoed from the main roads are close enough. I can see Landry's broad back leaning against the cafe window. If he isn't done in an hour or two, I'll have to come back and drag him out. I hope he's doing this because he wants to and not because he's still trying to bury himself in work. He seems... he seemed happier lately, like he's had a weight lifted from his shoulders. Still, I think he feels guilty about breaking the curse before everyone else. I think he's been trying to make it up to everyone else these past couple days. Though I'm not even sure they've figured it out yet. We're gonna tell them soon, of course. I'm not gonna try to hide it or anything. Just gotta figure out how to break their curses. I hope whatever it takes, it isn't as stressful as Landry's. I don't know if I can take four more magic explosions. I think about it for the whole walk home. As I round the corner, I feel a tense, creeping stiffness crawl up my back. My steps slow. My legs are suddenly heavy. This is familiar. Like the feeling I got the other day before I ran into that dude who kept staring at me. It's like someone's breathing down my neck, or looming behind me, reading over my shoulder. Is someone following me? I whip around. Just the street. Those kind of look like... Yeah, they kind of do. <laughs> I walk faster. I feel it growing with every step toward my apartment. Dread hollows a burrow in my stomach. Giant dildos, yeah. Why do I feel so anxious? I'm just going home. <gasps> I look away and now the dildo street. Blow the whistle, Avery. <laughs> Sorry, Nikki. I don't even have far to go. Am I getting sick? Oh. Oh no. It's him. Did he find out where I live? Does he live here too? That's too much of a coincidence. My limbs freeze. I feel my heart shaking inside my rib cage. My head is swimming. The dildo fairy. <laughs> Everything is wrong. I can't place why. Howdy. Um, good evening. Good night. My voice feels small and foreign, like it's thrown by a ventriloquist. I try to beeline for the door, but he sidesteps and blocks my way. Now, now. Why the hurry? Won't you answer a couple questions, kiddo? His deep, drawling voice is saccharine venom. He puts on a smile, but it's certainly not one that puts me at ease. Uh, do, do you need directions? 
<laughs> now, now. Are you here to buy a dildo? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Mm. <sighs> y you seem lost. I can't keep the tremor out of my voice. He notices. Well, well. Ain't you smart. Right to the point. Why, yeah, I am lost. But I ain't looking for a place. Oh, I found that. Looking for a guy. Think you can help? Uh, um, I'm pretty new to the city. I probably can't. Oh, I reckon you can. I suppose I should miss words. You're a busy person. I'm already feeling all guilty when shit wasting your time. I'm trying to hunt down graves. You seen them? Uh? Is he a friend? He can't be. <laughs> Looking for a guy. Needs a dildo. <laughs> he feels. <laughs> you, know, you see, I've been looking all over for my old buddy. And it's like he don't exist. Ain't that a shame? Oh. <laughs> Y yeah I haven't seen him recently either. Anger flashes over his face like an eclipse, vanishing as quickly as it had come. Tuh, <laughs> too bad. We got so much to talk about. I suppose his apprentice will do. That I'll send him a message. Intent reaches my feet before it hits my ears. I'm running before I know it. I'm not dumb enough to stick around and find out what he means by send the message. I don't look behind to see if he's following. That would slow me down. Fifty Shades of Graves. Collection. He has a collection of dildos and he's gotta give him a new one. I just have to run like I'm being chased. Even if I'm not. Ping. I hear a sharp noise behind me, like a metal bat hitting a home run. My foot gets stuck. Oh, on what? I don't know. But it hits the ground and stays there. And the force knocks me over and twists my ankle in a way that shocks pains. It shocks pain up my leg. Most aggressive dildo salesman, yeah. I'm seeing stars, and I want to crawl away. But I can't. Now, I gotta speak to Graves about your manners. Didn't excuse yourself. What a rude little kitten. I look down. My foot is covered in rust. Rust. His movement is molasses, like he's enjoying a stroll through the park. I crane my head over my shoulder to see him, but it's hard from this angle. Now, if you've been polite, we wouldn't need to fight like this. Didn't want to hurt you, kitten. I only needed a couple of answers. But if you want to duel, I ain't gonna complain. Promise you won't run away, yeah? Wouldn't play. I won't play dirty if you don't. I don't think I could break this rust without breaking my ankle off. It feels like it's already broken. Tears sting my eyes. I can barely use my magic to make trash sculptures. How am I supposed to use it to fight? I'm doomed. Zavine. You haven't changed a bit, Noct. Still pushing around Zavik to excuse your own malfeasance. I've never been so happy to hear my boss's voice. Graves! Graves will know what to do. I know it. <laughs> and here you come, acting like you ain't got shit to do with it. You're gonna get me all nostalgic, you old fuck. From out of nowhere, Graves is already next to me. 
He keeps down and places a hand on my foot. What's he holding? Are you hurt? Don't move. This may burn a little. A sensation washes over my rusted foot like stepping in a puddle of battery acid. Well, maybe that's a bit extreme. It burns, but it doesn't hurt. Rust crumbles to dust, and I'm free. I flex my ankle. It doesn't feel great, but I can at least put weight on it now. Grave stands between me and Noct, with a flourish only Graves could accomplish. He pulls a sword from his cane. What a perfect weapon for him. Noct shoves his hand in his pocket and rests on his metal bat like a cane. Just standing there, waiting. Classic Graves. <laughs> How are you now? Can you stand unassisted? Yeah, thanks. Who is that? If you recall the bike in that alley. I almost forgot. The one that was rusted over. The one Graves told me not to touch. And this is why. Sakura, you're pretty enthusiastic about this whole dildo thing, aren't you? <laughs> Meet the source of our collective woes. Ah, come on now. And after all we've been through together. Avery, I don't imagine this will end well. I have a favor to ask. Whatever you need, boss. He drops the cane sheath and takes my hand. His eyes are fire. His eyes are fierce. Fire and ice. Staring into mine. I feel like I shouldn't blink. I bequeath, I bequeath to you the entirety of my sex toy collection. <laughs> I give it to you. All of it. Take care of it for me, Avery. It... what? All of what? Everything. Everything of mine. You'll understand. Now go. As fast as you can. Go to the cafe. You'll be safe there. What was that all about? I don't feel any different. Why are you dawdling? Go! And we have to run away, because if we stay, it's bad end time. Now don't you worry, kitten. I'll catch up. <laughs> Nox word haunt me as I run the best I can on my sore ankle. Let's save, just in case, shall we? In case there's another bad end scenario that pops up in this route. It hurts with every step, but I can't stop. I almost make it to the cafe before I have to stop. My ankle hurts more with every step. I can't do it anymore. I see the lights as I approach. Landry's still here. I hope. It's only then that I realize I have no idea what his number is. I never had to call his cell phone or anything. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I gotta do something to get his attention. I have to stop for a breather. I lean against the old vending machine, and then I get an idea. I'm sorry you're having so much problems with your computer on me. That sucks. I've got enough change for a soda. I scoop it up before it hits the bottom of the machine. I give it a good shake, then focus all my magic into it. I lob it as hard as I can toward the cafe. I know it's not going to reach the door, I'm not that athletic, but that's not what I needed to do. The can hits the ground and explodes with a pop. 
sparks fly like illegal fireworks. It worked. I was worried I was going to make a colorful Molotov cocktail. Landry notices and comes out to investigate. Thank God Nock didn't get here first. Mm, what the heck? Is this a prank? A social experiment? Kaz, is that you? Landry? Avery? What the... What, what the heck? I need your help. I twisted my ankle and someone's coming. What? Avery, oh my gosh. Oh my gushness. He bounds towards me, covering the distance between us in no time at all. You okay? Did you slip or something? Never mind that, just help me inside. Hurry. He's coming. Uh. <laughs> what? Who's coming? I mean it. Hurry. It's knocked and he's... He's coming. Uh. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Okay. We're the only ones that should be coming. <laughs> He effortlessly lifts me in his arms. I wrap my hands around his neck, and he hurries back to the cafe. I could get used to this. I'll ask him to pick me up some other times, under better circumstances. <laughs> hey Candy, welcome to the stream. But it's not time for that right now. I wrap my arms tighter around him. A A Avery, A Avery, can't breathe. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. I let go, and he gently sets me on the couch. He's already fussing over my ankle. I'm so glad you're still here. I don't know what I would have done if he'd caught up. If who caught up? Were you being chased? Yeah, I... This guy knocked, attacked me, and, and Graves, and, and Graves fought him off, so I ran. He's the one who hurt you? I feel static run up my spine. I think it's from Landry. Hey guys, are they fucking yet? Um... Kinda? Like, they're dating. Like, they... and stuff. The light goes out of his eyes. Oh, he's mad. I didn't mean that metaphorically. There's actual literal static crackling off him. He's like a lightning rod when he's mad. I can feel the hairs on my neck raising. Hope the windows hold up. I twisted my ankle trying to get away. I mean, I guess I got it caught in his magic. I don't know. Oh shit, I shouldn't have said anything about magic. He's already halfway out the door. Go kick his ass! No! Landry, come back! Graves will take care of it. I don't want you getting hurt, too. This is like talking to an electrically charged brick wall. I need to hear groans and noises. Uh. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go, Candy. <laughs> I'll go see what's happening. Will you be okay here? No, just stay here. I don't want to be alone. Please, Landry. Come sit down with me. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Sorry I got worked up. Let's just... <laughs> You're welcome, Candy. Let's just stay here for a bit. I just want to lock the door and take a few minutes to catch my breath, okay? Hmm. 
this is a pretty PC PC game besides all the dildo fairies. Yeah, it's it's, it's pretty PG rated. Yeah, you're right. At least he's calmed down enough to stop crackling. I'll get the door. Nah, let me. I want to try my foot again. Holy shit. Now that I've had a few minutes to let everything catch up, my ankle hurts like hell. I try to hobble to the door, but it flies open before I have the chance. I ready myself to fight a murderer armed with a bat, but it's... Fit Finley? Oh my glob, you guys! Oh my glob! The cuss! She grabs my hands and does a little dance, but stops when I wince in pain. Oh, sorry, sweetie. You okay? Do you like twist your ankle? Yeah. What's this about the curse? It's broken. We're all human again. Of course, I'll miss my jelly donut fame, but I'll live. Oh. I'll start a new vlog. I'll... What's wrong? You look real messed up about it. It's Graves. The curse must have broken because something happened to him. Shucks. Graves. What happened? Where is he? And suddenly everyone is here. The curse must have broken for everyone at once. Now it should be good news, but... Oh, Reese. It's bad. He's still out there, I think. Still out there where? He lunges, but Mason intercedes. Stop. He's injured. What happened to him? You have to tell me what happened. There's my baby cowboy. Someone attacked us. I have no idea who he was, but he had a grudge against Graves. His name was... Knocked, I think. I don't know who that is. What happened then? This Knocked guy... Oh, I just remembered. I made a running joke out of calling him Notch for a while. Which some people thought was funny and other people <laughs> were not so pleased with that. This Knocked guy... I think he beat Graves. Reese clutches at his chest. He looks like he might fall over and pass out. Nacho cheese. It was hilarious. <laughs> I reach out to ease him to the seat, but he swats me away. German character can't speak German. <laughs> oh shit. I boop my thing. I'm sorry. I knew it. I knew he was going to get it over his head. I knew another witch was on his tail. But he told me to stay out of it. Damn it. I could have helped. Why didn't he let me help? Reese sinks into the couch and slams the armrest with his fist. Beating on furniture isn't going to do anything, but if that helps him feel better... He sinks his fingers into the cushions and looks hard at the floor. His eyes gloss over. He's holding back tears with everything he's got. I feel really bad. For all his blustering, Reese admired Graves a lot. I'm pretty sure he more than admires him. Considering what he said earlier about being able to relate to someone who gets really dramatic, about having a crush on someone who gets really dramatic sometimes. My friend says I love you. Thanks, friend. <laughs> I think he was the only one of us who really did. I guess now, after Grave saved, Grave saved me like that, I kind of do too. Too little too late, I suppose. So, now what happens? What do we do? We avenge him. Of course. We kill Noct. Well, well, well. That's a bit extreme. All's fair in a duel. That's what this guy wants, that's what he gets. When he comes to the cafe, I'll take it back from him. Comes for the cafe. 
Why would he do that? When a witch defeats another one in a duel, they take the loser's property. But he'll have to beat me to get it. Okay. Bye, Jenna. Thanks for stopping by. Is Graves really dead? I don't know. If Nox's intent was to kill him... Damn it. Landry looks like he's about to go off again. I grab his hand and give it a good squeeze. He start... He starts back to himself. I... I know what you're gonna say. Sorry. No, I think you're right this time. This magic is dangerous. I think we're in over our heads. Okay, Omi. I'm sorry you're having so much trouble. Peace. Aze readies himself with wide eyes, his mouth pursed. Like the conversation is a game of double dutch played with live wires. What is it? Uh... Uh... Why does everyone keep talking about magic? Was Graves cursed too? It, like, he must have been, right? It all sounds so unreal. Still... Are you sure it's magic? Of course it is. How else will this be happening? But he was too strong to get cursed. That part was just us. But he wasn't too strong to not curse us. Does that matter now? He's gone. And this Noct is gonna be here to take everything else too. He spits the name like it's profane. Reese launches himself from the chair and storms to the door. He puts his hand in his pocket like he's concealing a weapon. How would he just take the cafe? That's not how property works. They're like deeds and stuff. Not that I know much more about it than that, but I'm pretty sure my parents didn't kill a witch to buy their house. Of course it's more complicated. I don't exactly have time to explain witch territories to a dummy like you. Just know that when you're defeated in a duel, you give your property to the winner. So, unless Graves gave it away before the fight, Noct owns the cafe now. I remember Graves grabbing my hand and staring through me. I remember his words. I think he did. What? Before he fought, before he told me to run away, he told me that he gave everything to me. You? Why you? You're a newborn babby, stumbling through the witching world. That's not fair. You can't handle it. Well, maybe we're jumping to conclusions here. I think some of us should go find out what happened. Maybe it's a coincidence the curse broke. I really don't think it would be. But still, we're just giving up on graves too quickly when we haven't seen proof for ourselves. We should confirm. Reese, would that make you feel better? If, on the slim chance, you were right, obviously. And if not, Landry and Reese seem so ready to fight. I'm a bit worried for them. Why don't you come with me? Nobody should go out alone. We can watch out for each other. You read my mind. What if Noct is on his way here? What will he do? He can go through me. She cracks her knuckles and posi positions herself in front of the door. Wow. I'm so glad to have all these bruisers on my side. He said he'd come after me. What if he's waiting in my apartment? What about Mochi? Don't worry. Oh my god. Don't worry, kiddo. I can rescue you, kiddo. Give me your key. I'll be out and back before you even know it. What? No, it's, it's too dangerous. You can't do it. 
played other stealth games, like, you know, Assassin's Creed. It's not really a stealth game, it's more like an open world RPG, collect-a-thon. Um, Metal Gear Solid, that's a stealth game, I played that. Uh, Thief. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, you have no idea how good I am at sneaking. Guys, I'm just some screw-up kid. You don't have to do this for me. Of course we do. Yeah. You're our, you're our screw-up kid. We stick together through thick and thin, us cursed cats. Tears of gratitude sting my eyes. I never thought I'd have friends like this, who'd endanger themselves for me. My high school friends would have run off the moment someone said curse. I love these guys. I vigorously scrub my face, don't want to get too mushy. I hobble back to the couch. Okay, we can do this, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what they said. Promise me nobody's gonna get hurt, okay? Please. Give us more credit than that. Yeah. This guy will be sorry if he underestimates us. Then, we enact our plans. Dun 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 dun. Reese, Landry, and Finley all head out together. It's so weird to see them walk away from the cafe as humans. Hayes vanishes into the bathroom for the first aid kit. <laughs> Mason dips into the kitchen, and I hear a horrific screeching noise, like metal against linoleum. What is she doing? She returns triumphantly. She smirks at me, or more accurately, at the dumb gawking face I'm making. Lock the door, Baka. With what? An industrial range? She gives me this self-satisfied smirk, then paces in front of the front door and the windows like a sentry. Oh my god, who needs magic? She can snap that knock guy in half with her hands. Aze is back with bandages and a bag of ice. Gingerly, he removes my shoe and rolls up my pant leg to get a better look at my ankle. I'm glad I'm wearing socks that don't have holes. Oof. My ankle doesn't look great, but it could be a lot worse. Ugh. Oh, I don't think it's sprained. Just twisted. You just need rest. He slowly, neatly wraps my ankle with one of the stretchy bandages. When he pins it in place, it's like a pro's work professional ankle wrapper? Do you know a lot of first aid, Hayes? You're way calmer than I expected. Uh, I studied in scouts. Injuries and things don't bother me. Never have. Not everything makes me feel anxious. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad you're here to patch me up. He smiles sheepishly but averts his gaze to the ground, towards the ice pack. He props my foot up on one of the big, puffy ottomans, then places the ice on my ankle. Hayes heart, yeah, he's cute. Oh my god, does that feel good? Now, just keep it elevated, and rest a little, and take the ice off in 20 minutes. Thanks again, Dr. Hayes. Uh, um... I'm gonna go make some coffee. I think everyone will need it. I stress nap once Hayes goes back upstairs. Sometimes I need a system shut down before I can think straight again. You got the blushies? Yeah. I think even the cats know something's up, because they all swarm me. I've got two on my lap and the others pile around me. 
it's soothing to hear them and feel their little paws stretch out at me. I hope it's helping them, too. Not that I slept well. Every time I start to nod off, I spook myself with some new horrific way that Noct could defeat Landry. I hope he's okay. I hope he didn't do anything stupid. My head hurts thinking about it. I want him to come back so this can be over. I told myself it'll be okay, but it rings hollow. He's like an adept or something, isn't he? But he could blow up again and scare knocked off. I hope. I hope Landry doesn't see him at all. I shoot awake when I hear the door fly open. Is it knocked? Did he come right through the front door? Can witches come in uninvited, or is that vampires? Oh, it's Finley again. She bounces the door against her hip, since her hands are full of a cat carrier. That fussy lump inside is unmistakable. Meow. Meow. Wow, you're so whiny. Hold out your pants on, baby. Mochi. Did you have any trouble? Is everything okay? It's fine. Though, if I had to lure him into the carrier with treats, and he hated every moment of being in there. So, same as always. That's good. How about it? Should I unleash the beast? Meow. Yeah. Mochi, if you cause any trouble with the other cats, you're going right back in. Got it? Like he's gonna choose now to start listening. Finley opens the carrier and he shoots out like a furry cannonball. And he stands there, dumbstruck. He's got his own troubles now and playing nice with the cafe cats, but at least he's here. That's one less thing Noct could use against me. I see movement in front of the cafe. Is it? No. There's too many people for it to be Noct. Anyway, I'd know that hat anywhere. It's Reese and Landry, back already with Graves. Or what used to be Graves. Now he looks like a forgotten statue, flaking bits of rust off as they haul him up on the sidewalk. Are their hands glowing? I squint to get a better look. Oh, they look like garden gloves. Glowing garden gloves. They set Graves in front of the cafe, then come inside. Reese peels his gloves off, then helps Landry with his. Nobody touch him, unless you're properly enchanted. The rust spreads easily. Are you gonna leave him out there? He looks like a huge, ugly yard gnome. Not that I'm gonna say anything. We can't risk the cats coming over to investigate. They might touch the rust, and Reese said it could spread to them, too. I can't take him upstairs. Dracula would be a risk. Poor Dracula. I know she'll be heartbroken. So, now what do we do? I mean, no. Oh my god. So, now what do we do? We get ready. Who here knows a thing or two about magic? I mean, I know the two of us have learned a thing or two, though we're hardly experts. I guess we'll do the best we can to teach you, though. Speak for yourself. Mochi is like the complete opposite of Ren. One is loyal and caring, and the other just wants to eat, sleep, and make noises. Yeah. Mochi is more like a real pet than Ren is. <sighs> you can't teach me anything I don't already know. Wait, yeah, Reese, how do you know so much about this? I learned a thing or two in my time. I'm not assistant manager just because I'm good at accounting. Um, yeah. I have no idea what kind of magic you've been learning, Avery, but I won't let you steal the spotlight here. I'll beat him. Haven't you been listening? He beat Graves. We got to team up and come up with a plan. We fight alone, he picks us off. We all jump him, we have a chance. Is 
let's see. Mason gets it. Well, will you propose? Haven't you ever cram studied before finals? We'll do that using the tried and true Gray method. We shove enough magic in our short term memory to beat him. We probably forget it five minutes after, but who cares by then? We'll be done. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You got a battle wand? Ugh. Say, it'll be fine, winky face. I'm basically an expert here, too. I got through half my book reports without even opening the book. Uh, just take the time to study properly. Alright, someone give me the book and I'll get this started. If I ever needed confirmation that I don't want to be a teacher, I get it today. I try leading a sort of haphazard class on magic, but it's like herding cats, huh? Reese keeps correcting me, I think Mason fell asleep, Landry keeps getting distracted and wandering off, Finley's interested, but she's also interested in her phone. Hayes is too shy to actually try anything. Hell, it looks like Mochi is paying more attention than they are. This is important, so I keep trying, and I think they do too. But I'm exhausted. Look, I'm beat, y'all. I gotta take a nap. Can you just sort of, like, independent study? Sure. You should get some rest. We can take it from here. Yeah, that sounds great. But we have to prepare to fight. Oh my god, but we don't even know if this guy's coming. Um, we could, uh, take guard shifts. Right, we'll go in shifts. Avery can rest, two of us can stand guard, and the rest can move the cats into the basement. The, the, the basement? Why? I don't want any of them in the line of danger. They're safer if they're away from us. Are there any emotes you would be interested in? Oh, hey, Mayumi. Um, I don't know. I don't have any more emotes slots, for one thing. Um, I don't know, I'd have to give it some more thought, sorry. But thank you. I doubt, oh. I doubt Noct cares about cats. He won't go chasing them. And on Discord, um, I mean, if you just want to, like, make one or make up a sketch that you'd like to do, that's fine. There's plenty of slots open on Discord, so feel free to make any one that you would like to, Mayumi. Um, I doubt Nock cares about cats. He won't go chasing them. Oh my god. Uh, but then we gotta hurt- shit, my voice. Hold on. Oh my glob. Uh, but then we gotta, like, herd them all down there. Hmm. We can do it if we work together. You better get Mochi and Dracula, too, then. I don't want to leave Dracula alone. She must be scared. Sure. Can you get her and then keep the cat's company? No. I'm taking the first shift as God. Graves would want it that way. Oh my god, I'll take care of them, Landre. The cats like me. Great. I'll take the other guard shift. Everybody else? Relax. Everybody executes their individual missions. Reese stands in the door. He set his jaw so tightly I'm worried he'll shatter his teeth. Landry sits next to me. He wraps his arm around me. Are you worried? Of course I am. Hmm, don't be. We're all here. It'll be okay. Easier said than done. I bury my face in his chest, and he pulls me closer, 
just fuck already. <laughs> I can hear his heartbeat. I focus on it like it's my lifeline. I hear Finley and Mason chasing the cats around, herding them to the basement. I don't even care if they see me furiously snuggling on Landry. Oh. I'm so tired. Landry isn't going to do a great job of guarding if I'm hanging on him, but I don't care. Noct can go through me first to get to him. He's really on edge, even if he doesn't look it. I can tell by the pounding of his heart. It makes me feel better that he's nervous, and it's not just me. That doesn't exactly make for a better situation. After a while, I feel him gently lift me from his chest. Hmm? I'll, I'll, I'll just be a minute. I need to ask Reese something, then take care of something else. That's all. Hmm. Okay. I curl up into a ball on the couch, and I drift off again while he strokes my hair. Distantly, I hear the door open. Now it's even more quiet in here. There's muffled talking outside. I think it's Landry and Reese by the tones of their voices, but I can't tell what they're saying. I'm sure it doesn't matter. I open one eye. They're just out there talking. Nothing weird. I appreciate them trying to be quiet for me. I scrunch my eyes and try to will them both into coming back inside. I hear the door open, but it's silent. It's been quiet for a while. Feels like I've been sleeping for days, but it's only been a few min minutes, right? Where did Landry go? And Reese? Why is Mason at the door? Uh, where is everybody? Landry and Reese had something to take care of. Said I'd take guard for a while. It's quiet. The bottom drops out of my stomach. If I know anything about that stupid boy, it's that he's probably ran off to take care of things. He's going to get himself hurt. Where'd they go? I've got to find them before they get in trouble. Mason shrugs. How helpful. Luckily, some of the swelling has already gone down in my ankle. But it hurts to jam my foot back into my shoe. Hold down the fort while I'm gone. I'll be right back. Hopefully I'm wrong about Landry. Hopefully I'm right about coming back. There's no sign of him, Reese, or Noct. Maybe I'm being paranoid. Maybe I'm setting myself up for trouble. This is interesting, because this didn't happen um, in the last playthrough on Finley's route. He didn't go out looking for anyone. Only one way to find out. I make it all the way back to my apartment. There's rust stains on the ground, but otherwise it doesn't look like anything out of the ordinary ever happened. I guess they weren't here. It's no use. I don't see anybody. Maybe they really did just run an errand. Maybe they're getting supplies or something. Yeah. After running from Noct, it varies a lot. Gotcha. As I approach the cafe, I feel the hairs on the back of my neck stand on end. Like static electricity. Landry? Landry? There's a muffled voice around the corner. It sounds like him. Landry? A Avery? No. Get inside. Hurry. His voice gets drowned out by a slam, like something hitting the asphalt. My heart stops. There's another slam, much louder. Suddenly, Landry is in front of me. His back hits the ground hard. By the way he's gasping, I can tell that he's had the wind knocked out of him.
He sputters and coughs. Knocked is on him before he can get his breath back. I can't breathe either. Noct grabs a fistful of Landry's hair and drags him up until they're face to face. Thinks he can do it alone, eh? Look at him. Thinks he can shock it out. You believe that, kitten? Crazy fool just runs up and tries to punch me out of the bla- Gah! There's a horrible knocking sound as Landry slams his head into Noct's jaw. He crumbles to the ground. Landry scrambles away towards me. His ears must be ringing. Hell, I feel like my ears are ringing. I think I can hear it now, like the bass line of a song playing far, far away. I'd throw my arms around him, but he's absolutely crackling. He looks like he could tear a building in half with his bare hands. Landry! Landry, you idiot. I can't believe you ran off by yourself again. Uh, promise after this. <laughs> after this, I'll be a good boy. He looks like he's been hit by a car. I can't believe he's still standing. Just this last time. Uh, Reese and I thought we could do it together. But now he's... Oh my god, Reese. Where is he? Uh, back back by your apartment. Sorry. Noct got him. By now, Noct has recovered enough strength to stand back up. I think I see blood on the corner of his lip, but he wipes it away with his sleeve. I'm a patient fella. I hope you don't take this all personal. I'm gonna wrap it up right now. I got places to be, territory to claim, you get me? Yeah. Come over here, kitten. I'll cut you a deal. You give me the cafe and nobody gets hurt. Well, nobody else, but you can't blame me for self-defense. Doesn't that sound better? Why are you doing this? Leave us alone. <laughs> how many times are you going to strike out? You should know how this goes by now. I am not leaving without taking what Graves owes me. He owes me everything. You get me? Ain't gonna half-ass that. Landry's on his feet again, but he's not steady. He lists to the side, and his breathing is still heavy. But he curls his hands into fists and steps back up to Noct. Over my dead. He doesn't even get to finish the sentence. Noct pushes into his chest with the tip of the baseball bat like he's breaking a game of pool. Suit yourself, Tiger. Rust blooms from Landry's chest like a wound. Landry! He falls to one knee and clutches a hand over the rust. It's spreading slowly, but not slowly enough. Soon his hand rusts to his chest like it's been there for centuries. I run to him, but he holds up his free hand to push me away. So sorry Avery. This is it. Noct is gonna rust us in place, just like Graves. And poor Reese. The others don't know magic. They aren't gonna put up a fight. I mean, maybe Mason, but what about the others? This is how it goes. I stand in front of Landry and ball my hands into fists. Noct is so, so slow in approaching. He hasn't lifted his bat yet. Just get it over with. I think I hear footsteps like someone's running to us. Reese? No, it can't be. The sound of bass is getting louder. Is someone driving by? No, the bass is perfectly timed to the beat of the footsteps running closer and closer. I see the lights before I see his face. Neon arrows light ground where his feet hit. A heavy bass drop slams out with each step, like aftershocks from an earthquake. Somebody come by. Should that that should have come by earlier? Look at this jackass! Thinks he can take down my free meal ticket? 
Kaz, what the hell? Why are you here? Thought something fell off. I feel that moron's magic from a mile away, and it got sour. He points at Landry as he spits that moron. Landry definitely doesn't appreciate it, but he's hardly in a place to retaliate. I can't believe it. He took on one of the big guns of witching. Nikki, you can turn down the quality options on the stream. Maybe that'll be easier with your connection. If you click the little gear for settings. Really? The Rust Witch? You idiot. <laughs> you recognize me. Appreciate that, kid. I was getting a little depressed, you know? Invisible in a crowd of witches. Ah, uh, shut up. Look, you dumbasses, I'm gonna do something as stupid as you, and then we'll be even, right? Don't want to hear you whine about that curse ever again, big guy. What are you... Blom. Or something like that. It's Lucio's long gloss cousin. <laughs> How do you describe the sound of a magical bass drop that comes from a roundhouse to the face? I'd have to ask Kaz, because he just did it. Noct falls flat on his ass. Kaz lands on the ground, alighting two opposing arrows beneath his feet. Did he... Did he beat Noct with the power of dubstep? This is the dumbest magic I've ever seen, and I work with trash. Noct gets back to his feet, and boy is he mad. This is gonna get ugly. I'm not stupid, and I grudgingly admit Kaz isn't either. He's giving us a chance. A window. Landry, we have to get that rust off before it spreads. Um, what gets rid of rust? What do we have around here? We need, like, like that spray stuff that breaks it up or something. I don't know, how do you de-rust something? Landry sits, brow furrowed, thinking. He tries to pull his hand away from his chest, but it doesn't budge. I can see the panic in his eyes. I want to reach for him, but I... I know I can't. What about your magic? Can't you, like, zap it away? There's gotta be something. Actually, yes. Electrolysis. We had some kind of electrolyte and a sheet of metal. Electrolytes and metal. Got it. I spring to my feet before Landry can even finish. I've got a boyfriend to save. Electrolytes are like the stuff in sport drinks, yeah? That vending machine is right around the corner. I dash for the machine as best I can, mindful to avoid the neon sound waves and rust spikes happening around me. I've got just enough in my pockets for two sports drinks. And here's the metal. I break the lock off the machine and shove it in my pocket. Well, if he just broke the lock, he could just take them, you know? I dive back to Landry like I'm sliding into third and present him with the spoils. Okay, great. Well, I didn't mean electrolytes like that, but you know what? Let's try it. He pours the sports drink on himself, and I... Oh. Now's not about the time to think about wet t-shirts, Gray. <laughs> takes the lock in hand. I feel the hairs on the back of my neck stand up again. His hair raises. The rust starts to disappear. Soon enough, his hand is free. He opens his other hand, and the lock is covered in grime and rust. I give a happy little shriek and throw my arms around him. I mean, to be realistic, they shouldn't work at all, but... Who cares? It did. We figured out how to beat the rust. And now, the root of the problem. See, working as a team is way better than running off on your own. Here's what we do. Kaz is getting tired. The arrows are dimming and the music sounds tinny. Like it's being played from thrift store headphones. Say nothing of the sweat pouring from him and his heavy breathing. Huh. I was expecting a lot more. Never met a weak sound witch till now. 
you a dud. Uh, shut up. You're just taunting me. It's working, ain't it? Look at you. Noct, however, is as rusty and smarmy as ever. Well, that's okay. It won't matter much longer. Kaz, the cavalry is here. The vending machine toddles over, one spindly leg stand at a time. This thing is way harder to control than anything I've moved before. I concentrate enough. I can do it. I have to. Noct looks at it with amusement and confusion. That pause is just what I needed. Tracer? Yeah, cavalry's here, love. Or whatever. I will the front panel to fly open. Sport drinks and soda tumble out, spraying everywhere. Noct is drenched, and so is Kaz, but there was bound to be some collateral damage. I'll get him a new shirt. Then, Landry is there. He pushes the machine over and it topples on the knot. I realize, belatedly, that dropping a giant metal machine on a guy is probably enough to take him out, which or no. I'm not actually sure. Wet t-shirt, chap. Ugh. Surprisingly, or not surprisingly, I guess, Noct doesn't even hurt. He starts to get up, but Landry, Landry grinds his foot into Noct's shoulder to push him back down. Landry places one hand on Noct, then one on the machine. Then, electricity. Ugh. What are you doing? Rust removal. Nox struggles, but I warp the plastic from the bottles to latch into the machine. The machine rapidly cakes into rust and grime. I'm definitely going to have to pay someone back for this. That's a problem for tomorrow, when a murderous ru rust witch isn't breaking, breathing down our necks. Nox is quiet. Did we do it? Avery. Landry. If you will please get that machine off him. If he's lost his magic, he may actually get crushed. Ah, uh, Graves. We whip our heads back. Graves is there. The rust flakes off him like he's shedding an exoskeleton. Did we really take away all of Nox's magic? He's right, though. First things first. The vending machine is a bit easier to move now for some reason. It looks disgusting, like it's been underwater for decades. Noct doesn't look any different, aside from exhausted. I guess all of that on the machine is his magic. Well, well. Knew you'd gotten yourself some ducklings, but who knew they'd be such strong little babby birds? I don't want to hear it, Noct. Just go. Leave before I lose my generosity. You're clearly not welcome here. Landry glowers over Noct, and now even Kaz is there, breathless, but still trying to puff his chest out. Noct slowly, shakily stands. He looks smaller, somehow. His metal bat appears clean and new. He doesn't bother picking it up. Well, last that then. I ain't gonna forget what happened, Graves. I don't think you are either. Think of me when you do it again. See you in hell, Noct. Ah, don't you know it. I'll save your seat for you. He gives us all a smarmy theatrical bow, then oh so slowly strolls down the alley, past the rusty vending machine. Once he's out of sight, I realize I've been holding my breath this whole time. I finally exhale in relief. We did it. Oh my goodness, we did it. Did we really wipe out all of his magic? Like, forever? Hmm, not forever, but enough to give him a good scare. Let's think twice before coming back. What was, all, what was all that about, anyway? Graves! Reese thunders down the road to the cafe and tackles Graves with enough force to almost knock both of them over. That's right, with Nox's magic gone, he'd be better now, too. Oof. <laughs> Reese, please don't worry. 
As long as you're alright, I am as well. With Reese making that much of a fuss over graves, I probably won't get any answers anytime soon. Not that it matters, I guess. As long as Landry's here, and we're both safe. I copy Reese and throw my arms around Landry. Don't you ever scare me like that again, okay? Oh, I promise, for real, that next time I'll talk to you. Oh god, no. There won't be a next time. Uh, This magic stuff. We aren't even gonna piss off any witches again. You hear? <laughs> I think we can manage that. Chat, it's a happy ending. Honestly, we didn't even stick around long enough for that. I've had enough of witches and magic and whatever other drama this city's got for us. Landry said he wanted to see the wilderness more and get out of the city. I figure it'll be a good change of pace for us to head back to my hometown. Not forever, probably, but maybe like a couple months, you know? We quit our jobs at a cat's paw. Temporarily, at least. Graves is sorry to see us go, and it's sad to see us part ways with everybody, but hell. That's what the internet's for, isn't it? And we'll need jobs when we come back, too. In the meantime, Kaz took over for us. He's working there now. I think it'll be a good change of pace for him. Maybe we will stay here, though, you know? Landry's been talking about starting a business to make cat, f cat furniture or something. And maybe we can both use our magic to make some really cool stuff. I mean, I said I was done with magic, but not that done. For now, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to hike with Landry, then go to the dinner, go to the diner, and make all my high school friends super jealous of my mega hot boyfriend. This is nice. As a kid, I thought this kind of thing was really boring. But actually, it's not so bad when you've got someone to share it with. I can appreciate some quiet once in a while. The end chat. Get yourself a Landry. Yeah. <sighs> GG. Yeah. Love you, chat. Thanks for hanging out and watching this with me. It's good to come back to this game. I always meant to do it. Last playthrough was a year ago, actually. Um, it was something that, I don't know, the past year or so, my life's changed a lot. I haven't been making as many videos or doing as many things content-wise. I'm still pretty interested in doing all that kind of stuff. Streaming, making videos, whatnot. Part of it's just getting back into the habit again after being out of the habit after all those things happened. Stuff with my family and my health. And part of it's just kind of figuring out what I want to do now. I like doing the streaming thing and Uploading the VODs to YouTube and chopping some things up. Um. Oh, we'll see what happens. With those, um, Lamento videos I had been making more recently, I had just been recording them and pretty much uploading them unedited. Unedited. They weren't like super chopped up or anything, they were pretty much just what I just did here. I would stream it, but it's a Nitro plus Chiro game, and I have a feeling that would get me banned on Twitch, and so we're not going to do that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Good game. See, we should have a new face in our coffee cup now. Yeah, there's Landry. 
for. Alright guys. Oh. Thank you, Candy. It's sweet. Okay. Good night, folks. Peace.